I'm standing next to an auxiliary propulsion system or APS unit from a Saturn V rocket. It was one of the smallest of the 83 rocket engines that was incorporated into the Saturn V launch vehicle system. Two of these modules were attached to the lower skirt of the Saturn V's third stage. They had two purposes. First, each APS module contained a single, liquid-fueled, 70-pound thrust rocket engine called an Ullage thruster. During the launch phase of a Saturn V, the rocket continued to accelerate, except during staging. During staging, the spent rocket stage shut down, immediately deaccelerating the entire launch vehicle and pushing the fuel in the next stage toward the front of its tank. Before the next stage could fire, the Ullage engines in the APS modules provided a short, four-second thrust to reapply some acceleration to the Saturn V to push the fuel in the next stage back to the bottom of its tank so that its engines would have fuel in the lines to fire. Second, after launch, the Apollo spacecraft was initially placed into Earth orbit. During this time, the Apollo was still attached to the Saturn's S-4B third stage. While in orbit, the three liquid-fueled attitude control engines in each APS module were used to properly orient the spacecraft for the engine burn that would send the crew on the way to the moon. One final addition, on many of the lunar flights, the S-4B stage continued to follow the Apollo to the moon after it was unstaged from the spacecraft. In an effort to maximize their scientific studies, several of these third stages were directed to impact the lunar surface. By doing so, the impact would create seismic shock waves that could be studied by scientists back on Earth. The APS modules were used to properly orient the S-4B stage so that it would strike the lunar surface.